Greetings to everyone in the name of Jesus. Happy to be with you today this time. So today God is going to speak into your life I believe. I am very humbled and I feel the presence of God so Holy Spirit will move I believe. It depends upon your faith how it will be a blessing. It depends upon your faith so take it what the Bible says and listen to this live video. It might bring deliverance. It will surely bring great changes in your life. I welcome brother Richards. Uh, welcome to this live video. Thank you for watching this live video uh, in the midst of your heavy uh, busy schedule. So God is going to bless everyone. God is going to bless everyone. Welcome sister Akina Chayil. Hallelujah. Welcome brother Saul. Hallelujah. So uh, today I feel happy to share the word with you. Yesterday night uh, when I was sleeping, I prayed to God and after today when I woke up in the morning, I felt uh, some happiness in my mind. So uh, there, there was no reason for the happiness. I was happy. Today morning when I woke up, I felt very happy. But uh, I didn't get, receive any happy news. I didn't uh, get any special gift or um, I was not uh, welcomed by anyone but I felt happy when I woke up. Then I realized that that is the spirit of joy that is making me happy. So people are very tensed, some people are very tensed, they are very desperate. They say that we are feeling very worried, we are not happy. We are worried about our future. People are always panic. They, they are somehow worried. Hallelujah. So today I am going to share with you from the book of Psalms 51, 10, 11 and 12 these verses. I am going to read and share it and minister as the Holy Spirit leads. So I welcome everyone, those who are watching, may this live video be a blessing and it bring changes. It is the Lord who is directing every one of us. Not our, not our strength or our might, but it is complete the Holy Spirit. So rely on God. Hallelujah. So before coming into the live, let us close our eyes to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I submit myself and everyone, those who are watching, let this live video, this ministry be a blessing to everyone. Holy Spirit, you speak to everyone's life and let it bring forth uh, happiness and deliverance and changes in their life. Only the name of Jesus be exalted. I should be lowered, I am humble and the name of Jesus only be exalted. Give me a revelation, prophecy, accuracy in everything also let there be clarity in every sense and the power and fire of God be released people be healed and delivered may it be a blessing only the name of Jesus be exalted Jesus name Amen so I welcome sister Myra Munis and all brothers and sisters who are watching so with much great expectation you watch this live video because the world it doesn't matter who is uh, preaching, who is ministering, but the word that comes from the from the mouth of God, Jehovah, it will begin to bring great changes. Hallelujah. So um, I when I read Bible, I take a lot of time in reading Bible. Some people say we uh, we read many chapters. But I, I don't know that. But uh, I take uh, when when to complete one chapter, it will take a lot of time because when I read the Bible, uh, I will take every everything from that word. So it will take much time to move from verse to verse. It will take in the book of Hebrews also we can see that um, the word of God it will penetrate into it will discern everything and penetrate into us and it is life it will be bringing changes so when you read bible every verse you have to go deep into that verse 
not by just reading uh, going going no but go deep into that how much deep you can go into every word every sentence the more power and more blessing you will get from that word hallelujah so today um, i am sharing with you from the book of uh, hallelujah uh, psalms 51 10 11 and 12 it says create in me a clean heart o god hallelujah so we want a clean heart if our heart is troubled if our heart is worried god cannot do anything hallelujah if if your house if your own house is not clean if somebody some guest will come what will you think he cannot uh, spend time with you for more time because your house is not clean maybe some foul smell is coming from your house your house is dirty and one of your friends or relatives have visited your house but they won't stay long because there is dirt in the house some smell is coming likewise your heart should be clean so as god to do something if your heart is worried you cannot uh, expect a miracle from god that's what uh, the bible says rejoice in god delight in god and he will fulfill your heart's desire so you have to delight in god you have to rejoice in god to have a blessing coming to you if you are always worried god cannot do anything hallelujah god has done already everything on the cross for you all the blessing so you only have to be rejoicing in the lord always and get all the blessings one by one the enemy cannot touch you because you are safe in the hands of the lord no disease can affect you no covid 19 can come into your life or in your family's life because there is a wall of fire around you so when you realize the truth you won't be worried you will be happy there won't be any bank uh, option say in your property no forfeiture of property no financial problem you will be happy look into the life of uh, joseph he was in the pit he was in a well but he was not bothered whether he is in the palace or in the well when he was in the prison also he was not bothered whether he was in the palace he was not uh, pr- proud of himself when he become the pr- when he became the prime minister because he had the experience when he, wa- he had in- when he was in the well for many years he was rejoicing the same spirit of joy is now when he became the uh, prime minister of egypt also and he- all the saints when they had everything when they lost everything these all things they didn't bother Habakkuk the prophet is saying even if i have anything even if i don't have anything i don't bother but still i rejoice in the lord this is the joy what i am telling you today hallelujah so i welcome everyone sister jenain everyone those who are watching so with much expectation you watching create in me a clean heart and renew a steadfast spirit within me praise the lord create in me a clean heart and renew a steadfast steadfast spirit within me hallelujah holy holy spirit is strong and steadfast our spirit is uh, you uh, since it is in our body it might change it will uh, our spirit will obey our soul our spirit will obey our body we have a spirit we have a inner man but our body is ruling our spirit how many of you understand our body uh, will be happy when our body gets something pleasure our body will be pay, will be worrying when our body doesn't have a happy news so it is affecting our spirit also because the soul and body is ruling our spirit but when a man receives holy spirit what happens it is a steadfast spirit it is the spirit from god 
it will begin to rule you it will begin to rule your spirit it will begin to rule your spirit that's why the bible is saying in the book of galatians walk in the spirit walk in the spirit and you will overcome all the lustful desires hallelujah so here uh, it is saying and renew a steadfast spirit within me a steadfast spirit that is a stable spirit it is the spirit of god hallelujah it is the holy spirit hallelujah so some people they have holy spirit some people have holy spirit they speak in tongues we know in our church also but when we look into their life they are not walking in the spirit so uh, receiving it is very important that when you have the holy spirit you have to walk in the spirit hallelujah you you have the law of your country but if only you walk in that law then only you will be protected in in that country hallelujah if you do if you have the law book in you maybe you have the law book in you that that doesn't uh, mean that you are walking in that law in every country there is a penal code and there is a civil code maybe you are you have you know that law but it doesn't mean that you are walking but you have to walk in that law then only you have the protection likewise you know when there is holy spirit in you it is not for just speaking the holy spirit in only in sunday when you come to church but always to walk in the spirit hallelujah so here what is um, what is uh, david saying renew a steadfast spirit within me do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your holy spirit from me hallelujah so david's prayer is he, he is asking god he is the king he could have asked god lord give me extend my kingdom he could have asked god lord extend my kingdom but his his prayer request was not like that give me many soldiers give me many military power he, he, he could have asked god but he is not asking like that but what he is praying he is praying give me a steadfast spirit do not take your presence from me do not let the holy spirit go from me hallelujah give me the joy hallelujah so give me a clean heart this is his prayer today some people wants a deliverance some people want a change so i am encouraging everyone let your attitude be changed everything will come as a blessing when you have a steadfast spirit when you have a clean heart when you have the presence of god when you are living in the living and walking in the holy spirit that's why david the king of israel he didn't ask god lord may my kingdom be extended he never asked he didn't ask he had many problems when you read the book of psalms 40 you can see david cannot even look up because his problems are more his child his son is go is going to kill him his son is chasing him one of his own brother raped his uh, his own sister we can read read that in the when you read the book of death so he had many many problems he was hiding from saul he was hiding from many many enemies so the people are against him and he had many problems in his life what he is saying give me a clean heart give me the presence of you let uh, holy spirit should not go from me give me a pure heart and let me be able to have a step part set for spirit that was his uh, prayer and also we can see uh, in the 12th verse what he is saying restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me by your generous spirit so david is praying hallelujah you know this verse very much restore to me the joy of your salvation what is the joy of salvation this is what i am going to tell when i woke up today morning some happiness came from me 
I realize that that happiness is the joy of salvation. That is the spirit of joy. Like the nine gifts of Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit has nine fruits also. When you read the book of uh, Galatians, uh, the book of Galatians 5, 24, 25, we can see the uh, nine fruits of the Holy Spirit. Joy, uh, peace, everything like that. So it is the spirit of joy. So today I am going to pray for you the spirit of joy to come upon your life. Whatever you have, whatever you do not have, it doesn't matter. But the spirit of joy when it comes to activate in you, you are going to be in the next level. You are going to be in the next dimension. Things that has been positive in your life is going to become a blessing. And you are going to be a blessing to everyone because the spirit of joy is overruling you. What is the spirit of salvation? What is the joy of salvation? Hallelujah. When a person accepts Jesus Christ as his savior, when he begins to obey the word of God, when he, be, when he decides that he will be guided by Jesus. Jesus has said in the book of John 14, 27, I will give you the peace, the peace which not the world is giving, but I give you the peace. Hallelujah. That peace is one of the spirit, one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And that uh, peace it will give you happiness. Hallelujah. So David's prayer was like this. Um, give me the joy of your salvation and uphold me by your generous spirit. So things are going to happen. Hallelujah. So I will be going to pray for you. How many of you believe? Whatever, whatever that uh, you are praying for, you cry to God, Lord, I want the joy. I want the joy. When you, when you become happy, you will see everything will come automatically. Your prayer is God will bring somebody to help you. God will bring the provision through the ravens. Everything when you feel happy. When you look into the life of all the saints. Even when they are in, in the midst of problems. They are praising God. They are feeling God. So today this is the secret of a blessing that to be happy. Maybe the enemy is against you. The enemy is mocking at you. Somebody is teasing you. Somebody is torturing you. And uh, somebody has deprived everything from you. Taken everything from you. But don't be worried. The enemy might be stronger. The Goliath might be stronger. But you know you have the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So today God is going to bless everyone. How many of you can pray with me? I am going to pray. Pray to everyone. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Shaka Dina Sekim Horo, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Los Angels, Hallelujah, Myra Muni's sister, the Lord is telling Los Angels, Hallelujah, Oh Shaka Mari Shekin, you will be a part of that revival in Los Angels, Myra Muni's sister. Shalab Iru Seki. Hallelujah. Can everyone pray with me? Can everyone pray with me? The Lord wants to speak into your hearts. He wants to fill you with the spirit of joy. So your life will be a new life. You, this is a new beginning. Today, this will be a new beginning. Hallelujah. People will be uh, 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 wondering. They will be looking why you are happy. But because Jesus, the spirit of joy, the spirit of Jesus is now going to rule you. Shalama shiki nabe, lake shilabe, tarama, fire in the name of Jesus. The wounds are healed. Brother soul, the wounds are healed in your heart are healed. And God is blessing you with the spirit of joy. And I see there will be a very soon a change in the position. A change in your position. I see a altitude. There will be a sudden rise. A sudden high altitude. So 
there will be a change in your position brother Saul your um, designation is going to change your designation is going to change your status is going to change uh, do you, can you understand when you when you rejoice in God when you feel happy in the Lord it is uh, going to be uh, I sense that uh, something is worrying you but don't be dismayed the Lord is showing me it is a big paddy field and there is a nice uh, abundance of uh, uh, wheat and rice so uh, rely on the word of God and it will come a blessing hallelujah your position is going to change uh, I see your status is going to change hallelujah brother Saul hallelujah shall come on we say in the name of Jesus I, I hear I hear uh, the sound of the flight I hear the sound you know when the aeroplane starts it's uh, there are two uh, fans propeller I, so when it begins to rotate there will be a sound so I am hearing that sound hallelujah hallelujah so I hear that sound that means uh, there is a movement it is going to start I do not know to whom that word is going to come but let Holy Spirit give me that word to who yes it is to you hallelujah brother Richards it is to you it is to you I was asking I was uh, hearing that uh, the sound of plane starting the two fans on either side of the wings of the aeroplane it was starting and there was a sound I was asking Lord to whom the word is so it is to you brother Richards something is going to start something is going to start and it is like the, uh, the Lord show me that aeroplane me means it is not within your place it is not within your location if it was within your location God would, could have shown some bus or car the starting of something but it is uh, if aeroplane means it is beyond the limit it is uh, not within within the, your territory but it is going to uh, nations it is going to nations and it is going to start your heart's desire is going to be fulfilled many many doors are opening many many connections are opening brother Charles it is going to start and angels are I see the big the angels are standing in a array as if the soldiers stand in a uh, in a battlefield in a array I see many many, many angels uh, they are looking for a command from you so command in the name of Jesus and everything will be uh, the main main thing you are asking the Lord I see it is a machine God is providing them hallelujah hallelujah so God is going to bless you hallelujah keep on everyone praying when you feel happy in the Lord the Lord will give you something blessing in your in everyone's heart that's why he, David know, knows the trick how to get the blessing from the Lord David knows how to get a blessing from the Lord. That's why he asked, give me a steadfast spirit. Give me a clean heart. This thing always when, when if you want happy, you will, if you, if you are happy, all the blessings will come to you. The secret of blessing and secret of deliverance is that you must be happy always. You must not let the enemy come against you. The enemy won't touch you because there will be a wall of fire around you. And you won't become a tail but you will become a head. <coughs> How many of you know? You are not a tail, you are a head. So be happy. The Lord is your shepherd. So be happy. 
you do not want because the lord is your shepherd people uh, people in the world may have uh, many many dollars or currency notes in the countries where they are residing but i see in the television and in the newspaper when the corona virus came they threw the currency away because that currency didn't bring them any healing or deliverance hallelujah they had many bank balance but that bank balance did not give them deliverance when the corona virus came in this world people realized that the bank balance the money won't give safe safety that won't give you deliverance so i tell you it is not the money that is going to bless you it is not the land that is many people i know even uh, many people who i know in facebook also and uh, many people my relatives and many people i know they had everything but that didn't give deliverance to them it is only the jesus it is only the spirit of jesus it is only holy spirit that is going to bless you that is going to give you deliverance that's that's why da- david realized give me a steadfast spirit that is the spirit of jesus that is the spirit of holy spirit when it comes in you it will begin to activate so you have to walk in the spirit hallelujah you have to tune your life in the spirit Hallelujah you know how a train goes the train you know train you have a train in your country it goes through rails only it won't go like the a car or bus it has a specific direction and it will go only when there is signal it won't go when the signal is off when there is a red light it won't go when there is green light only it will go because the train is going like that and somebody if uh, the train is going very fast somebody somebody puts a stone or a big uh, block something in front of the railway track what what happens it will hit it will collide so the engine is uh, the driver is doing that work by faith the driver who is steering who is uh, steering the train who is on the wheel he cannot stop the train he can stop the train only after if he put the brake the train will come to stop only after half a after 1 km we cannot stop the train immediately so he is going by faith so um, uh, uh, he is he is driving the train by faith so when he goes through any curve he doesn't see anything when it is a curve thing the driver what what will be in his mind he is going by faith because he knows he cannot stop the train immediately you somebody has some somebody has taken over the rails or some somebody somebody has put a heavy stone or a wooden block or something on the railway track he cannot do anything so your life will be like that if you are guided by holy spirit you do not know the wind comes the wind blows you know you can hear the sound of the wind but you do not know where the wind goes hallelujah john 3:8 it says everyone those who are born of spirit is like that so when you walk in the spirit your life will be always happy because your brain is not working maybe you lack money it is not you are not bothered maybe you lack food you are not bothered because your brain is not working it is the holy spirit working it is the holy spirit that is working in you it is the holy spirit that is changing your life so you you see only things when the engine driver drives the train you look through the window and see the things and you will be feeling happy but how much tense the driver will be because he doesn't know what will happen next so you you don't uh, you feel happy because you are not guiding your life it is god guiding you it is god directing you it is 
is Holy Spirit guiding you. So if you walk in the Spirit, your life will be like that. Somebody will say that you will, the doctor will say that you won't live longer. It will come to this year and it will go out there. You won't bother. Somebody will say that you are going in a difficult situation because of many problems. It won't affect you because it is the Holy Spirit guy. You know that. The God who delivered Daniel from the lion's den will deliver you. The God who delivered David from Goliath will deliver you. If you are led by the Holy Spirit. The God who has led all the saints in the past will deliver you. Even when you walk through the fire, you won't be burned. Even when you walk through water, you won't get drowned because the Holy Spirit is guiding you. So you are into the new dimension. You are. Yeah, so I am going to pray. Let us close our eyes. Hallelujah. Shaka rinda ma shaka riba. Shama risi kala hori. Dele kurama sheki naba. Hallelujah. Let everyone be filled with the Spirit of the Lord. Let everyone be filled with the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, Janine DeLong, sister, I, I see that um, there will be a change in your residence. Uh, uh, the place where you are staying, God will take you to another place. I don't know whether you are looking for a change in residence, but what is worrying in your life? Holy Spirit is saying, don't worry. I am guiding you. I am leading you. And uh, God is healing you also. I sense you have a toothache. God is healing you. Hallelujah. The Lord is building a fence around you. And the people, those who are against you, will find goodness in you. Maybe in the past, till this time, your own people have rejected you, but Lord is saying that I am going to honor you in your own house. Something is going to be connected with you. Uh, hallelujah. And uh, God will be blessing you. Hallelujah. Shakar in Lord, touch everyone in the name of Jesus. Lord speak into everyone, everyone's life. Hallelujah. What you have to praise, Lord, I want a stable heart. I want a steadfast spirit. I want a pure heart. I want the Holy Spirit. I want the peace of joy. I want, I want the peace of uh, God. I want the peace of Jesus. Let your prayer be like that. Then God is going to fill you with the spirit of joy. I release the spirit of joy in the name of Jesus to everyone those who are watching. Receive the spirit of joy. Hallelujah. It is not a material deliverance. It is the spirit of joy coming. Hallelujah. It is the spirit of joy now coming and making all the prayer requests answer. Delight in God and I will fulfill all your heart's desire. God Jehovah is saying. Hallelujah, shall come in Sharama. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Power of the Lord is now released. The fire of the Lord is released. The chains broken. Hallelujah. You will never see the Israelites, never, never see the Egyptians, never in your life. You will never see sadness. You will be happy. Hallelujah. You will never see worried things in your life. Shakalama Reba. Humble yourself and God is tuning your life. I see a great uh, revival is going to come and God is going to recruit many people. How many of you believe? Hallelujah. 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 Have more tolerance and patience. The Lord is telling Sister Sandy Beach. The Lord is giving you more tolerance, many things that is making you panic, worrying you. The Lord is giving you more, more patience and tolerance to get out from all that things that you are facing. 
and the next level you are going to see your family is also a blessing I see it like that I see also a apartment hallelujah I see a apartment God is giving you a apartment hallelujah the blessing is coming on the way hallelujah shall come rika in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the lord is uh, giving you an angel to you akina chalai sister what i see is it is like a, a mouse to a computer what is the use of a mouse hallelujah you know mouse that is connected to a, a laptop or computer it will be the mouse is uh, controlling the computer and anyone who watches that uh, computer can see the things moving but actually it is not the computer is guiding it is it is from the mouse so somebody your hand will be like, i am saying an illustration so God is uh, giving an angel to you angel the angel is coming and guiding you not you the angel will tell you to go that direction go this direction take that so the angel is going to guide i see like that i see an angel coming hallelujah so in which place you are you are going to be honored in your in your own place hallelujah it is a uh, residence uh, there is the association i see like that hallelujah you are going to be honored in your place hallelujah i see the what all things you are uh, god is giving you water connection i see do you lack water uh, i see the water coming plenty of water you don't lack water not uh, this is the holy spirit i am telling Uh, the material water do you lack water so you will have the water connection and god the pipe connection is coming and i see the angels coming so god is going to bless you hallelujah god is going to bless you hallelujah shikina ba ri shalama shakaram dama shikina ma tune tune to holy spirit connect your heart to holy spirit it is the holy spirit who is giving the word hallelujah what uh, uh, when you read bible when you watch uh, live videos when you go to church when you watch um, uh, any television your your uh, prayer should be give me a clean heart give me a clean heart uh, give me a stable spirit then holy spirit will begin to um, intervene in your life Holy Spirit will begin to do something in your life. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Something sege sege pegi. I see a big wall. Because of that wall, you cannot go or you cannot do anything. This is what I see a a wall. And you cannot climb that wall. But today, when you pray for a steadfast spirit and when you pray for a clean spirit heart and when you pray for the holy spirit i see the joy is coming in your heart and breaking that wall in the name of jesus do you believe that wall is broken now you cannot do anything now you cannot go and see your beloved ones there is some restriction in your life even in your family itself there is a restriction don't come don't do like that i see that there is a wall but today the holy spirit is breaking that wall in the name of jesus hallelujah power of the lord is coming the great jericho wall was broken when people praise hallelujah so that wall is breaking in the name of jesus the power of the lord is coming and breaking the chains hallelujah shakari taba connect to holy spirit connect to holy spirit 
I am going to pray for everyone. I am praying and the Holy Spirit is moving. I see the Holy Spirit moving. It is going to be a blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. O Shaka Rintarava. Don't listen to the enemy's mouth. Don't listen to their what they are saying. They cannot understand what is going in your life. Because you are guided by Holy Spirit. They are all ordinary people. But you are a separate one. You are a distinguished one. Because you are guided by Holy Spirit. Your spirit is a steadfast. How many of you understand? They are guided by their body. They are guided by their soul. So they are speaking the worldly things. But you are speaking heavenly things. You are not speaking what the doctor said. You are not speaking what uh, the other people, the bank manager said. You are not speaking about the financial crisis. You are not uh, saying anything what the X-ray report said. But you are speaking about the heavenly things. Because it is the Holy Spirit who is speaking in you. So declare, you will live longer and declare the words of the Lord. The Lord is your shepherd, you do not want. Hallelujah. So God is going to bless everyone. Shakalamtini shekirinku raba fire. The fire of the Lord is breaking the chains. Oh shakaraba. In the name of Jesus. So everyone is going to be blessed. When, when you come out of your steering and give the steering, give the will to Holy Spirit and walk according to the direction of the Holy Spirit. When the Israelites moved after looking the pillar of fire and pillar of cloud, they began to get blessed. But when they go in their, in their speed, they faced many problems. They wanted meat, they wanted uh, tasty water. But anyone who is uh, walking in the spirit, that person will be blessed. So don't, don't be fast. Some people want deliverance fast. No. Ask God and stand and wait. Hallelujah. It might take some days. But be patient. The time is coming that God is going to honor you. God is going to honor you and use you for the kingdom. You are going to break the chains. You are, a, you are going to deliver people. Wait and receive the power of the Lord. Receive the fire of the Lord and you are going to break the chain. Somebody is saying, my ministry, there are only few people in my church. This is not God's plan. Receive the power and wait for the power. And that power will bring people to your church. Even if you go and give tract, nobody will come. Even if you call your believers, tomorrow is the Sunday worship, come to my church, nobody will come. Or unless Holy Spirit works, nobody will come. So receive the power. And receive the power and speak in tongues in your room. And that will bring. The provision will come through ravens. How many of you understand? The provision will come. What you have to do? You have to do everything. How you know how it a aeroplane is guided. There is a, a controlling room in every airport. When, when a, a flight goes from that moment till where it goes to some other place, till it lands, it is controlled by a computer. And one person is controlling that computer. And uh, it is directing to, it is telling the pilot there is a pilot here, Brother Richards. So he knows, Brother Richards knows, he is a pilot. So somebody in the, uh, it is not the pilot who is steering. Somebody in the airport is directing the flight. It will tell, that come through that computer, that person will tell where to land, when to land. So the pilot is listening to the person who is in the who is there in the place where where he started. Hallelujah. So he is guiding the flight. Likewise, when you are in the room, when you are in the room, when you begin to speak in tongues, 
your body is here but the provision is coming the angels will begin to activate when you are in the spirit when you are, when you speak in tongues when you are in the room the things everything will come the deliverance will come hallelujah the deliverance will come so you need not to worry everything wherever you are wherever you are pray in tongues and see the deliverance hallelujah it is the holy spirit doing not anything not anything not because you did something it is completely the holy spirit it is completely the spirit of jesus so that's why david prayed i do not want soldiers i do not want to extend my country he didn't pray for that he what he prayed i want a stable heart i want a steadfast spirit the secret of deliverance is not any money or any land or anything it is the holy spirit when it comes to activate in you the spirit will take you to nations the spirit will take you to many countries the spirit will speak through you the power will come through you it is the power of the holy spirit how many of you understand hallelujah so god is going to bless everyone hallelujah very soon very soon i see john hubert brother very soon there will be a change in your life what you have been praying to god it is it is going to happen very soon lord uh, speak a word lord in the name of jesus i pray hallelujah the financial breakthrough carol smith sister financial breakthrough hallelujah your uh, your position is going to change sister polia winlock your position is going to change hallelujah what that has been uh, changed is now going to be released sege sege hallelujah the uh, the chains broken you are free hallelujah hallelujah more more power brother richard hallelujah uh, it is going to happen so, sir kimberly matthews it is going to happen so the god is on the wheel it is going to you are moving i see sister kimberly hallelujah uh, now it has come the lot has come in your name hallelujah carol smith sister it has come the uh, it is like uh, when a lot is taken it is coming in your name hallelujah shal karaba so may god bless everyone may god bless everyone uh, thank you lord in the name of jesus for giving me an opportunity uh, to be on live with your beloved children uh, thank you lord for uh, all the clarity everything uh, thank you lord for the network everything in jesus name amen so i am humbled i am happy to be with you it is like a fellowship uh, to be with when i come on live when i see your names it is like uh, being in a church it is like sitting in a church and having a fellowship so you can also when you see other names also it is like a fellowship i see the comments that you are saying uh, rejoicing in the lord i see your comments uh, like this uh, rejoicing with you uh, sister brother like that likewise i am also rejoicing with you hallelujah so let uh, that happiness uh, rule all your life the happiness of god may god bless you uh, jesus name amen i will be go coming on live next week same time in this group jesus name amen <laughs>